Hi. You talking to me? I, yeah, is this the Cook building? No. Well, hey, I'm looking for my first class. It's on the second floor of the Cook building. This is the basement of the main building? Go that way. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I've only been here an hour and I already hate this place. I wanted to go to U of C. You can ski there between classes. It's a great school. I mean, academically, of course. But my grades and my ACT score, whoa. <laughs> Just look around here. It's so depressing. Concrete everywhere. No ivy walls. No history or tradition. You know, they teach you how to repair refrigerators in one of these buildings. <laughs> Do you know that half of my high school class goes here? It's nothing but advanced high school. I pay almost $2,000 for tuition. My sociology book alone was 140, and I couldn't find anywhere to park except for at a meter. That takes a quarter every two minutes. <laughs> Please, I, I just want to be anywhere but here. Enter at your own risk. You know, what have I got to lose? and I have the honor of being the first president of Grand Rapids Junior College, and you have the distinction of being its first class, 49 of you in total. You are all pioneers in a noble experiment, the Junior College Movement, which I foresee growing into something of great educational significance. We are the first junior college in Michigan, the fifth in the country, imagine that. <laughs> Now, in two years, if you're successful, you will be given the state's first associate degrees. And I have arranged for transfer of all of your credits to the University of Michigan, resulting in great savings to you and your parents. Excuse me. Yes. What is going on? <laughs> this is called a welcoming speech. In a few moments after I'm finished, this room will become a class in American history. American history? At least it's my best subject. Oh. Okay, I get it now. We are supposed to dress as the time period you're studying, right? Not that I'm aware of. What period have you dressed as? Um, well, the present, of course. Those tattered clothes. I, I think I understand. You must be a refugee from Europe. <laughs> How's the war going? I'm dying to go over and help out, but President Wilson thinks we should stay okay, on. Wait, President who? Thank you for that observation, Mr. Baxter. But before I turn you all over to Mr. Frost, I am genuinely concerned to hear about the problems you're encountering these first few days in college. Mr. Frost? Oh, he is a high school teacher. I knew it. This is a high school building. You might be the president of the college, but you are also the principal of the high school. This is not college. This is advanced high school. Well, very true in many ways, Miss Kelly. I can't deny that, but we have hired only the best Central High teachers for this college. These will be rigorous college courses. Well, I'm bothered by something completely different. Tuition was $30 this semester. <laughs> My history book alone was 85 cents. I'm going broke. It was a medium, right? By next year, Mr. Baxter, we hope to reduce resident tuition to $20 a semester. That's still a fortune. And another thing, there weren't enough places to park today. Oh, yeah, I can relate to that. I promise you, before the beginning of next week, there will be two new bike racks in front of school. <laughs> <laughs>
then baby sing you're willing to shake President of Grand Rapids Junior College, or Junior on the Hill, as some have taken to call me. President? What are you talking about, Arthur? I'm president. You teach. For Having me. taught here under our first president, Jesse Buttrick Davis, who moved on in 1920 to larger things. I did? What? Like the authoring of highly respected textbooks on vocational education, teaching in universities, and serving the cause of education at the state and national levels, I, as his successor, am proud to realize one of his dreams. A very own college building right here on the hill at Ransom and Mine. Bravo, Arthur! And on this beautiful September day in 1926, we are hosting our very first campus dance in our new gymnasium with music provided by our very own music department. Those who called us advanced high school will have to bite their tongues. We were a true college, open to all willing to advance their lives. Our transfer students have better scores than those entering universities as freshmen. 
We have a state champion debate team, and our athletic programs, under the leadership of Mr. John Boss, are looking to state championships in track, tennis, basketball, and swimming. We've nicknamed them the Bossmen, and they strike fear into the hearts of four-year colleges. Music and athletics, it's wonderful. How many students are there? And now, with a student body of over 600, Boring. we look toward a future limited only by our imagination. So, strike up the music. And let's celebrate. questioning the wisdom of supporting a junior college. We've gone to summer school and evening classes. We've proven our excellence in academic and technical programs, and yet every year we're fighting for our existence. We lack the money to expand. It's discouraging. Don't be discouraged, Arthur. I've heard from a very reliable source that the college will endure and thrive. I'll give every ounce of life being to see that we endure and thrive. <laughs> Jesse Buttrick Davis won battle after battle. I'll do the same. I just wish I had him here for advice. Advice? Well, since you asked, Arthur, you've always been a driven perfectionist, my friend. You need to trust the people that work for you as I trusted you. Stop trying to control everything. If you don't, I could see you wearing out in your 40s. The truth is, Jesse Buttrick Davis isn't here. But 
I have reliable people to advise me. I should trust them more. Ah, such wisdom. How can I give up counseling every student? They need my guiding hand. Arthur, but maybe that's not practical. Hey, Jesse. Could we get going? I'm getting pretty homesick. Oh, well, uh, yes, of course. Uh, lead on, my dear. <laughs> Grandmother would wear. Yes, it's much better than the one you're wearing. <laughs>
at you. I like your dress. Uh, you do? My name's Jack Wood. Jack. Oh, um, yeah. Believe it or not, I'm Jill. <laughs> well, however, I noticed you. Are you new? Uh, yeah, very new. Uh, I loved the number, by the way. I wish I could come see the performance. Why don't you come? I got a free ticket you could use. Uh, I'll be gone. Sorry. Oh, that's that's too bad. Uh, yeah. So, Jill, Jack, huh. you want to walk to the top of the hill? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I guess so. Okay. Oh, wow. Everything is so different. This town is so small. Oh, it's growing. We have a symphony orchestra now and three big department stores. <laughs> it's gonna get a lot bigger. I'm sure you're right. And it's exciting. I want to be part of it. Yeah. I just wish the world wasn't so screwed up right now. My dad is a music teacher, and he's had to take a job washing windows. I have not so I can go to college. I'm a pretty good student, but they treat me like I'm somebody very special. Oh, they do? Maybe it's because I, I like learning and really love being on stage. <laughs> Someday, I bet we'll have our own theater here. Right now, we have to use a high school auditorium, but that'll change. I just get so sick of people calling this place advanced high school. They're wrong. Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe they are. You know, you're a very positive person, Jack. I think I am. But it's it's so hard to stay up here when it looks like there's going to be another world war. My dad was in the last one, and if it happens again, I'm going to be the first waiver to fight. This craziness has got to stop. I don't want to discourage you or anything, but I... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Not about me. Tell me about you. Me? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Well, I'm just a freshman. I wanted to go to a university, but all in a group. Um, my parents thought that this was a better idea. <laughs> you won't regret it. Ooh. Look over there. Is that hard for Andrews? It is the president of this place. Oh. He plants and takes care of all the gardens around the building. Isn't that something? In a suit and tie? He is a very proper man. But where are all of the groundskeepers? Who can afford them? His dream is to have a campus with gardens all over. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I think I better go. I, I'd like to see you again. So would I. Um. Goodbye, Jack. Bye. Bye. Nice young man. Yeah, very. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think we should be moving on. We have 75 years worth of traveling left to do. I'm certainly impressed with Arthur. Can't we at least stay another day? I don't think that would be wise. <laughs>
There's Arthur. Good heavens, he's looking old. Isn't it odd watching other people age when we don't? The college has another building. A and a campus. What year do you suppose this is? October 7, 1949. Grand Rapids Junior College Memorial Campus, dedicated to those who gave their lives in World War II. Look at this list of names. I mean, all of these boys were students here. I, I can't even believe how many. What is it? The uh, boy from the musical. The boy that I walked with, Jack DeWitt, and his name was on the list. My dear girl, what terrible news. Oh, he was just one of the nicest, kindest boy. I can't believe it. Jesse, I don't want to do this anymore. Take me off. I I'm not sure I can. This seems to be a journey we're on till the end. Oh. Hello? Hello. I'm really sorry. I'm not usually so emotional. Don't apologize. I knew most of these boys. Every time I'm near the memorial, I can barely keep my composure. I knew one of them. Yes, I thought you might have. Well, excuse me while I plant these mums. I find it therapeutic. You're a good man, Arthur. I remember the first president of this college. He lost boys in World War I, nearly broke his heart. I understand how he felt. I myself had no notion of what to do except to build this little campus to memorialize them. Dr. John, John Tiro? 
Funny thing is, they call him Dean now instead of President. I guess they're retiring that title with Old Man Andrews. Maybe the new guy will finally make this into a real college um, instead of advanced high school, you know? That's what everyone says. Don't you think it's getting a bit old? Hush! Let's listen to what he's saying. Whose 35 year presidency makes him the longest serving college president in the country. In his honor, today, the college library will be named the Arthur Andrews Memorial Library, just as one year ago, appreciative students dedicated the new Memorial Fountain and Shakespeare Garden to him. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me greet our beloved Dr. Arthur Andrews. <laughs> Dr. Right. You didn't even a doctor. It's honorary. You stay long enough, some college usually gives you one. <laughs> In 1914, Jesse Buttrick Davis could have no idea what we would have become in 41 years. His untimely death a few months ago is one of the reasons for my decision to step down. He was my model and my mentor. May God bless him and God bless our new leadership. You give me a moment. Are you all right? Um, it, it never even occurred to me. I don't... It did to me. It was only a matter of when. 1955. That uh, gives me 41 years. In the grand scheme of things, it's a great deal of time. I mean, yeah, but who really wants to know? <laughs> I agree with you on that. I, uh, how odd to realize that I am mortal just like the rest of the human race. <laughs> this journey certainly has its lessons. I know. Time is short. Use it wisely. Amen. <laughs> you have a very caring heart. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> you don't change, but your clothing keeps surprising me. Pretty sure I wore this for Halloween one year. <laughs> what on earth has happened to the city? It's called urban renewal. Urban destruction is more like it. Yeah. All these wonderful buildings being replaced by giant cracker boxes with no character. <laughs> They don't look as if they'll last 30 years. No, but things will improve eventually. The college absolutely must stay downtown. It may be what keeps it alive. Well, that's true. Never thought of it that way.
Collegiate, Grand Rapids Junior College. It's a student newspaper, marvelous. Well, listen to this. Progress has been both helped and hampered by four administrative changes in the 10 years since the late, good heavens, since the late Arthur Andrews retired. Dr. John Tyrrell, Dr. John Visser, Dr. Donald Fink, and the present college head, Dean Francis J. McCarthy, all have worked to improve administration and give faculty more voice in decision making. At the same time, many pressing problems remain. Each dean has felt restricted by having to answer to a K through 12 superintendent and board. Separation may be the answer. Separate the college from the Grand Rapids public school system? What a radical thought. Uh, oh, look at this. It's one of the first issues of Display, the college literary magazine. Collegian and Display are still around in my time. Oh my. <laughs> Generation does have very energetic music. He thinks you're talking to him. May I? Um, uh, oh. <laughs> um I'm Jill. I'm Jesse. I'm Frank. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I need buildings, and look, they're tearing them down right and left. Why do you need buildings? I'm dean of this college. Our enrollment is supposed to reach 6,000 in the next few years, and I don't have room for half that number. He's Francis J. McCarthy. You're Francis J. McCarthy. <laughs> Just Frank. 6,000 students, I can hardly believe it. 6,000 is a lot of students. Our first president could never have imagined it. That's a fact. <laughs> We're going out into the community to teach. We'll expand vis-a-vis -vis the weekend and evening college, but those are just band-aids on the real problems. Businesses are begging us for occupational training. We can't keep up the demand in these outdated facilities. Could you imagine 18,000 students? <laughs> no, I'm sure that won't happen. <laughs> what about in 50 years? 18,000, impossible. Just wait and see. You're right, young lady. Nothing is impossible. See that spot there just north of the main building? Oh, yeah. Someday there'll be a classroom building there. And a new library up on the hill near the east building. 
You realize this college has never built a building of its own? We need a phys ed building, we need a music center, we need a theater, we need a parking ramp, we need so much my head is spinning. I just gotta find a way to stop. Bravo, Frank! I think the first president would have liked you. I think I would have liked him. <laughs> no daydreaming. There's work to be done. Nice to meet you. It's America's bicentennial year, and we're still going strong. Now, I must admit, the Ford Field House is awesome. It has this great Olympic-sized swimming pool in it. Oh, and it's named after a U.S. president from you'll never guess where. Where? Grand Rapids. Uh, uh, nothing surprises me. Now, out of curiosity, was that a hint of pride I just heard? Well, look at what's happening. President Tompkins, you were most vocal music teacher at Preston High School. <laughs> Call me there. Yes, I'm proud of that connection. Do you have any plans for the college's music department? Well, uh, this is off the record, but uh, I could imagine transforming the East Building into a, a first-rate music facility. After all, we have a reputation to maintain in the community now. The Kent Philharmonia Orchestra is in residence, and the New World String Quartet is in residence as well. But the East Building is ancient. It's historic. <laughs> it was the original Central High School and our first college building, thanks to Arthur Andrews. Hmm. Now, we've already lost part of the building to the, the new learning center, but the rest must be revitalized, not torn down. This is a, a campus now, 7,000 students. <laughs> Look, over there, that's the G Building the former home of Grand Rapids School of Bible and Music. And just behind that is the old Violet Chapel. Oh, that's where we're going. Okay. It's now the Spectrum Theater, mm -hmm. home of our drama department. There's a, uh, a student play going on. I'd like to step in on a rehearsal. It's student written and produced about life at this junior college. Young lady, young lady. Um, me? Are you a student here? Uh, yeah, sort of. Have you seen our theater? No, I haven't. I'm Dick Calkins. Do you have just a moment to pop in on the rehearsal? I need a, a student perspective. Well, Do it! I want to see this! Sure, I <laughs> guess so. I'm Jill! Great, Jill. Meet the Grand Rapids Press. <laughs> now, what, uh, what are you majoring in? Well, just sort of a uh, general liberal arts right now. Not really sure. Yeah, well, that is what college is all about, isn't it? You, uh, you find what you love to do, you get your degree, and then you find someone who will pay you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an interesting way of thinking of it. If this play is about college life from the student's point of view, you might want to gird your loins. Gird your loins? Uh, prepare for the unexpected. Gird my loins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> now, this play is supposed to be a comedy. So, I wouldn't be surprised to hear a few attempts at uh, humor at the college's expense. Understood. Okay, one more time, uh, beginning at scene nine. <coughs> Been in line long? Oh, my freaking life. <laughs> I hear ya. <laughs>
still living at home. My room still has cowboy paper on the wall. <laughs> My friends are gonna be coming home over the holiday talking about what a great time they're having at the big universities. About all the football games, the girls, and the parties, and the girls, and the, the great classes. <laughs> Look at me! A raider! And a concrete pie! I can't take it anymore. Somebody's got to help me! He's pathetic. My problem is real. I'm totally lost. Today I have class in the West Building and the South Building. Tomorrow I have class in the East Building. Is, is there a South Building? Which direction is which? My friend has class in the G building. What about A through F? <laughs> Where's the main building? Uh, main Street. <laughs> I only know where one building is. The parking ramp. And I can't even get into that. I can't get anywhere. How? Hey, great. Okay, now let's take it from the alma mater seat. Yourself. A little painful, too. Maybe a little painful, too. <laughs> I need to go somewhere and kick this over. Thank you for, for coming along. Oh, I enjoyed it. Wait, wait. We're both music men. Can't we do something to improve upon the lyrics of this all along? Say, maybe, a, maybe I could try a chorus. Do it. <clears throat> you screwed up. High school, <laughs> yet there's still a place Last to get ahead. that will accept <laughs> you, <laughs> and it's no disgrace <laughs> that your brain's not dead. It's <laughs> such a practical way to go to school. Quality and convenience at a bargain price. <laughs> and to JC, it's absolutely. Don't be 
Vietnam stall twice. Welcome to JC. It's absolutely cool. <laughs> Bravo! I couldn't resist. Well, don't go and fire the director. I could always fire the director. Mm -hmm. you know, he really ought to have his own theater company anyway. Now, my credo is to hire good people and then let them do their jobs, even when I don't always agree. It isn't always the easiest road. But it is the best. Hold on to that credo and you'll go far, Dick Calkins. is a mystery to me. <laughs> just go with the flow, Jesse. I'm trying. I just don't flow quite that fast. <laughs> Wait till you see what's coming next. It'll blow your mind. I'd be curious to know the derivation of that uh, phrase. This <laughs> is an old computer. Computer? Old? This is an Apple II. State of the art for 1984, or at least until our Macintosh comes out. Um... I have a friend who doesn't even know what a computer is. You gotta be kidding. No, can you explain it in 25 words or less? It's a programmable electronic device that can store, process, and retrieve data light years faster than a human brain can do. Huh. It's gonna change the world. Astonishing! Of course, I'll be dead. This baby is a powerhouse. It has four kilobytes of memory. It has 4,000 bytes, if you can believe it. Hey, hey, this thing is still dead. Um, hey, any idea how much memory this has on it? Is it that puny thing? It's an iPhone 5. One gigabyte. A billion bytes? Ridiculous. Hey, oh. what is this thing? Hey, give that back to me! One. Give it back to What is it? Hey! <laughs> well, if you just give it back, I can, I can show you! When I see it, I'm taking this straight to my boss. Oh, his name isn't Steve Jobs, is it? <gasps> now I know your response. <laughs> it's just a toy. It, it, it's nothing. We'll see, we'll see. I could probably have you arrested, you know. Steve is never going to believe this. It'll blow his mind. <laughs> Remember, watch the teleprompter and don't rush. Ready? Take one. With the passage of the 1991 redistricting proposal, the college has officially separated from the Grand Rapids K-12 district and has become Grand Rapids Community College. As you know, 
The college has been struggling for some years to function, uh, fluctuate, flatulate that. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, that's all right. <laughs> Let's try it again from, as you know. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes, I can do it. <clears throat> all right. As you know, the college has been struggling for some years to function with a tax base too small for its enrollment. Over 70% of our students now come from outside the district. A true community college with its own board of trustees elected from the larger district is better for all of us. We have set our sights on the stars and this is liftoff. Thank you and welcome to GRCC. Whew. I need a cigarette. <laughs> Amazing, what an audacious move. 11,000 students, though, the time certainly seems right for it. This man impresses me. Yeah, he does get things done. No, it, it's more than that. It's, it's vision, the most essential ingredient of all. Oh, hi. Are you new to the program? I haven't met you yet. Uh, very new, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come along and see this? I can't believe we're doing it. What are you doing? Oh, it's awesome. I never knew I had artistic talent. We are carving an ice sculpture for the football team for winning the Dixie Rotary Bowl. Dixie Rotary Bowl? Yeah. Is that an important one? Well, it's not the Big Ten or anything, but it's important enough. <laughs> so what are you guys carving? Well, I wanted to do the Confederate Raider guy, but we tried, tried starting just out with footballs. I mean, we're still learning. It's so cool. We get to use chisels and torches and chainsaws. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, I gotta get going. This thing is melting. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work to me that will something turn into a big puddle. How long does a nice sculpture last? Ask a football team how long the cheering lasts. Or a chef how long a meal that took three days of prep lasts. About as long as anything good, I guess. Well said, young lady, cook, artist, and philosopher. <laughs> We're uplinking live to the satellite. Stand by. Five, four, three, two. On this spring day in 1991, in partnership with Ferris State University, we proudly dedicate this Applied Technology Center. In order to teach technology, we have to know it. We cannot be afraid of change, and change is what the ATC is all about. West Michigan business and industry will be able to move confidently into the future. That's it, perfect. <laughs> so now I need a Manhattan. <laughs> And, and more change. Education is moving beyond my comprehension. I really am in an H.G. Wells story. You know, I hate to say it, but it still feels like the dark ages to me. How differently we see things. I won't be born for another five years. Well, that's right. I'd almost forgotten. Uh, 1996, May 5th? No. <laughs> you know, I just realized I haven't asked you anything about your personal life, about your family. And... Well, I mean, we've been busy. <laughs> oh, but if you really want to know, um, my parents are very nice people. My dad teaches high school history. My mom is a dance teacher, which is obviously rubbed off on me. <laughs> oh, and I have an older brother, five years older than me. You know what? He was born two months ago. <laughs> what a crazy thought. <laughs> he's such a caring guy. And he thinks he's my protector, which is nice. So smart. And going into the ministry, big surprise. You know, on my best days, I try to be like him. But I'm uh, kind of a disappointment <laughs> compared to him. I doubt that very much. Mm. So uh, do you have a family? Oh, yes. I, my, my wife, my high school sweetheart. <laughs> uh, I have two daughters and a son. And I am uh, just realizing how much I'm missing them. Feels as if we've been gone a century. <laughs> well, we have, nearly. I mean, not too much longer now. You know, we don't look too much worse for wear. Yeah, 
You look great for a dead guy. <laughs> and you're not too bad for a twinkle in your father's eye. <laughs> He must be a star. Um, so, are you going to Grand Rapids? Well, sort of, but only for the past three years. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I actually grew up in the Middle East. You did? My parents were missionaries in Jordan, but my dad took a desk job for the <laughs> denomination, so I think we're back for good. Wow, I mean, what a change. 
Yeah, it's a big adjustment, but I love it here. Now, my parents homeschooled us, so this college is a big step for me. I never got a chance to play organized baseball until I got here, and guess what? I'm crazy about it, and I'm crazy about sports writing, so I do it for the collegiate, and I really like science. This place has opened so many doors for me. Yeah, I've heard it does. Do you know the diversity center here at CC? They recruited me to be on their team. Juan Oliveras, he's the president. He strives to make this place a safe haven for everyone. He cares about people. And since I grew up speaking Arabic, he thought I might be a help to some of the Middle Eastern students. Middle Eastern students? I love the crazy mix of people. Oh my, the challenges. It's like a miniature world. The mix in 1914, Dutch and Polish. Oh, and Miss Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta get to the practice. But it was, it was nice bumping into you. <laughs> um, do you want to watch practice? It's right over at Belmont. I would really love to. But I have to go home soon. Oh, it was nice talking to you, though. See ya. Why do such great guys have to show up when I can't sit? Be patient. You realize that you're very good with people. Uh, they seem to open up to you. It's a gift. Yeah, he was interesting. Mm -hmm. Peter to pay Paul. You can say that again. Just keeping this place going. It's like running a marathon in muck boots. I've been years we've been doing it. I know that feeling, but keeping it going is only part of the picture. Maintaining takes most of my time, and frankly, it's exasperating. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. 
counting out what will fail and what will last. Try building the future on the past. Budgets, contracts, personnel. We all must ride that carousel. Problems coming hard and fast. Try building the future. That door says it best. Mm -hmm. Enter at your own risk. So what happens next? I don't know. I am nervous and I'm excited. I've learned so much, but I've changed even more. So have I. You've been a wonderful guide. I have? You indeed. A credit to your family and to this college. Me? You indeed. <sighs> so the journey comes to an end. You know, I'm going to miss you, Jesse, more than you could imagine. What should I do with these? I'm sure you'll think of something. Would you believe that a year ago, I was a student at Ohio State? 
It's a great university, but I, I was lost there. Huge classrooms and auditoriums. I was student number 4865990. <laughs> One semester and I'm back home going to GRCC. And believe it or not, I love it here. It, there's just so many people here that I understand. They understand me and my teachers, once I figured out that I was a good student, they started treating me like I was somebody special. They had me singing in the hat pin last semester. I'm working the Lit Magazine. I'm tutoring kids in math. Everywhere I turn, a new door opens. I know this story. <laughs> and look at this amazing campus. Downtown is our campus. It's art prize time. There's energy everywhere. And how many colleges are downtown now? Five or more? And GRCC is the biggest. Every day there's at least 25,000 students down here. <laughs> this place used to be a ghost town. And now it's full of life. So I study in bookshops and coffee stores, or if it's nice out, I sit at the Rosa Park Circle, or I go down by the river and walk the bridges. I know. I mean, it's, it's great. Honestly, Yesterday, CC was the last place that I wanted to be, but it's so much more than I realized. Wait, did you know that this college is 100 years old? Okay, did you know that it started out at Central High School with a class of 49 students and a president who just happened to be a visionary? Look at this place now. Do you work as a tour guide or something? <laughs> no. I am just starting to appreciate it.